day everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we are going to learn about new lesson in mathematics. And hope you guys you will like it. And stay right now where you are as we are going to explore the mathematics world. By the way, I am James Estereno and you are currently watching the episode of Mathematic in my YouTube channel. The lesson that I am going to tackle to you today is all about the final plane. What is a final plane? Have you ever heard of this plane before? Well, if not, listen carefully and lean me your ears and eyes as I am going to discuss it today. I hope you like it about the video tutorial I have prepared to you. Before that, I am going to unlock these terms for us to quickly understand about what I am going to discuss to you because these words are going to be difficult for us to understand if we don't unlock and we will encounter these terms in the next part of the discussion. So the first word is the action. By its definition, it is unprovable rule or first principle accepted as true because it is self-evident or particularly useful. It means that it doesn't need proof to be proven because it is a self-evident. It is always correct. Next is collinear. Three or more points are said to be collinear if they lie on a single straight line. Like for example, if there are points A, B, C lie on a single line, then it would be a collinear. That is an example of it. Then the last one is theorem. Statement to be proved using the actions, definitions, and previous theorems as reasons for the logical steps in the proof. At this point, it is quite difficult for us to state a theorem that is correct or not. But however, we use the actions and other theorems to prove that our theorems is correct. It is independent, or rather, it is dependent to the actions. It is dependent rather to the actions. Theorem is dependent unlike two action. It is independent, that is, not need proof, while the theorem needs proof. Since we unlock the terms, we will proceed to the proper discussion. Without further ado, let's go. So let's define first about what is a final plane. It is the finite projective plane of two. What does it mean? A finite projective plane is a projective plane that has a finite number of points and lines. In a finite projective plane, each line contains a finite number of points and each point lies on a finite number of lines. So, the finite project plane of Thano plane has two points and lines for prior starting. Then, it is the finite projective plane with the smallest possible number of points and lines. Seven points and seven lines. With three points on every line and three lines through every point as shown in the figure below. Fano plane was named after Gino Fano, an Italian mathematician, is the main, the one who created this plane, discovered rather. He is best known as the founder of finite geometry. In addition, Finite geometry is a type of geometry that has a finite number of points and lines. There are two types of finite geometry. The first one is the projective plane geometry. It is a kind of geometry that has no parallel lines. And the other one is the affine plane geometry, which is opposite to the projected plane geometry because it doesn't have any power lines. Therefore, base and we can conclude that 
the Feinu plane is actually a projected plane geometry because it doesn't have any parallel lines on the figure as we had shown lately. There are five actions in the Feinu plane. The first one, there exists at least one line. Number two, every line of the geometry has exactly three points on it. The third one, not all points of the geometry are on the same line. The fourth one, for two distinct points, there exists exactly one line on both of them. And the last action is each two point lines have at least one point in common. And I'm going to show you how this action satisfies the figure. At this point, I am going to thoroughly explain the actions of the Feynman plane. So let's proceed to the first action. The first one. There exists at least one line. So, let's find out. Yes, it is correct. There is one line exists in the final plane. The second one, every line of the geometry has exactly three points on it. Okay, let's find out again if there is one, two, three. Yes, there is three points in the line of the final plane. Like the same here, one, two, three, and line, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. Then the third action is not all points of the geometry are on the same line. Well, we have to find it out. So, according to this action, there not all points of the geometry are on the same line. So, absolutely, this is what I mean. It is not on the same line as it was here. Yes. So this satisfied action. So the fourth one, second to the last, for two distinct points, there exists exactly one line on both of them. For two distinct points, there exists exactly one line on both of them. Let's figure it out. And this is this is it. This is the action 4. It satisfies the action 4 in the final plane. And the last one, the fifth action. Each two lines have at least one point in common. Each two lines have at least one point in common. So let us figure it out. So absolutely this is it is said that Two lines have at least one common point. So this is the common or the intersection of the two lines. This line and this line. So that's all. At this juncture, let's move forward to the theorems of the Feynman plane. There are two theorems of the plane. First, theorem one. Each two lines have exactly one point in common. Second one, theorem two. Feynman's geometry consists of exactly seven points and seven lines. At this point, let me explain further the theorems of the Feynman plane. So, the first theorem each two lines have exactly one point in common. So, let us figure out. So, based on the action 5. As what I have said earlier or discussed earlier, so this is it. There's such two lines intersect in this common point. Proof of that is by action 5, 
two lines have at least one point in common. The assumption that they have two distinct points in common violates action 4 because then the two distinct points would have two lines containing both of them. So that is the proof. And the last one is the theorem 2. Thanos geometry consists of exactly seven points and seven lines. And let's figure it out. Let's check if it satisfies the theory. Okay. Seven points and seven lines. So let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Indeed, there is. Uh, there are seven points in a famous plane. However, let's check it out. The lines, seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Absolutely, it is correct. The theorem is correct. It was supported by the actions. As what I've said earlier that theorems are dependent to actions because it will help the theorem to prove them if it is correct or not. So as what you have seen here, wait for a while. This circle is not actually a circle. It's just because we used the perspective of the Euclidean plane. That's why it is a circle. But actually, it's real. It's not a circle. It is a straight line. All the lines in the plane of geometry are straight lines. It is just because of the representation of the Euclidean plane that is why it is circle. But actually, for real, there is such no circle in the plane of plane. They are all straight lines. I hope you understand it, guys. To sum up, plane of plane is the smallest finite projected plane. A Feno plane is said to have order of 2. A finite plane of order n has n plus 1 points on each line for a projected plane. It means that we are going to substitute the n by the order of 2. Therefore, 2 plus 1 equals 3 points. It means that in the Feno plane, it has 3 points points on each line which is correct and the last one a projective plane of order n has n squared plus n plus 1 points we are just going to substitute the order of 2 of the final plane it is n squared is 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 7 points so it means that there are seven points in the Plano plane. And that is exactly correct as was shown in the figure. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. And I hope you will come back and I hope you learned today. And subscribe when you like my video. And follow me more on YouTube and Facebook. That will be all. Thank you.